The bond shall start trading at the Nairobi Securities Exchange on 12th March 2019. As with the first two issues, CDSC will continue to perform its role as the issuing and paying agent for Emma Kiba. CDSC has put in place robust systems that ensure security of client information and seamless settlement of transactions. During the offer period, CDSC will facilitate the creation of CDS accounts, processing of applications in the primary market, and shall offer registry services as a sub-register to the Central Bank of Kenya. During the secondary market, CDSC shall continue to facilitate settlement of Emma Kiba transactions traded at the NSC and shall manage coupon payments and redemption of the bond at maturity. Since the first issue in March 2017, CDSC has paid out on behalf of the government a total of Kenya shillings 47,282,510 in interest to Emma Kiba investors. We shall continue to work with our partners to ensure that we deliver on the trust, task entrusted to us by the government through the National Treasury. On behalf of CDSC Board and Management, I would like to express my gratitude to the government of Kenya for their continued support throughout this project and assure you of CDSC's commitment towards ensuring the success of Emma Kiba. I would also like to recognize the work being done by our technical and marketing teams, which comprise of members from all the partner institutions, for their tireless efforts to make Emma Kiba a success. There will be a significant amount of work to be done over the coming two weeks to reach out to Kenyans to take up this exciting investment opportunity. So we encourage you all to dial star 889 hash on your mobile phone and invest in Emma Kiba. It's now my pleasure to invite the CEO of the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Mr. Jeffrey Odundo, to make a few remarks. Thank you very much. So uh, on behalf of the NSC, I'd like to first of all take the standing protocol and just say that we are highly appreciative that uh, we are now today opening um, the Emma Kiba 2, and largely because of the, we've actually carried out um, an historical uh, perspective of how the Emma Kiba has performed in the last one year, and hence uh, a lot of what is coming out now going forward addresses the concerns we had in the past, and uh, we're delighted that now we've really addressed those and we're able to go forward. So also as the NSC, we, we're here today to celebrate the launch of the reopening of the Emma Kiba bond. As you know, the overall objective of the bond is to encourage Kenyans to save and to support the growth and the development of the country, and that is really the same um, uh, overarching objective that we as, as, as partners have come and uh, continue to adhere to. Now, the bond market, as you know, uh, Kenya has got a very vibrant bond market, one of the most vibrant in Africa. But uh, historically, this has been the preserve of largely institutional and high net worth individuals. And Emma Kiba came in as a way to break that, um, that hold and allow Kenyans to invest uh, into a very into invest into this security that was previously inaccessible for them. Uh, the features of the bond, as you know, uh, the main feature is the tax it offers, sorry, the, the interest-free uh, um, uh, interest that it offers, and, and really the ability for you to access this product very conveniently. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it's a government issue. So in terms of risk uh, profiling, it's a low-risk investment. Uh, the Emma Kiba has already provided us with a huge amount of investors. Uh, over 300,000 potential investors have registered. Uh, we would like to see this number grow from an uptake side. Uh, in the last few issues, we had just about 5,000 purchasers. But now we believe that uh, the knowledge and the continued product knowledge that we'll give out will be able to attract more and more uh, investors coming in. Now, on the secondary side, the bond has been trading actively, and we'd like to thank our liquidity provider, the Commercial Bank of Africa, who have been the one providing the liquidity for the market. Uh, the bond has been trading very, very well. We're doing about uh, close to four to five, uh, not less than five trades a day. Uh, but again, this has just proven and provided a proof of concept has actually been very successful in that we've not had any failures on, in that respect. So uh, we would like Kenyans to continue and to take advantage of this offer. As Rosa said uh, during this offer period, 
um, and really take, a, take advantage of the opportunity that it offers. Now, this bond is technically a one-and-a-half-year bond because it's a reopening. Uh, so if you compare that to a one-year instrument right now in the market, which is giving you 9% uh, before tax, this bond is at 10% after tax. So it's a very attractive investment for anybody looking for a short-term instrument. Now.